<laughs> Welcome to another episode here from the off -grid Garage. It is another late night show here and I've got my good spat t-shirt on because I'm not going to build anything tonight. No, no, I have stopped building things. That's how it looks like. Still only one cable connected to the bus bars. Nothing. Guys, thank you so much for your hundreds of comments under the last two or three videos. That is insane. When am I supposed to read all this or even replying to all your comments? That is impossible, guys. This is impossible. Well, now that I've finished building these bus bars and my cable connection stuff here, you are telling me all the good stuff, right? Yeah, sometimes I'm reading really good comments and I said, yeah, oh yeah, this guy is right. Yeah, that's a really good idea. For example, Powerpole, the aluminium bus bar guy. It is a bit late now, but to keep your cables better organized, you could have used these banded cable lugs. And we, we all have seen these um, banded cable lugs, you know, they, are, they either go f uh, backwards or forward, banded 90 degrees or sometimes 45 degrees. But this one is different because this one is banded sidewards. So it's called like a, a left band or right band or an elbow bend or something. And there's a company here in Australia who's got them, but you need to register. And obviously there's a human which needs to approve your application of having access to the online shop. So I can only imagine how expensive these cable lugs will be. Anyway, I have registered. I haven't got access to it. I cannot sell. I need only one. You know, it would be good to have one of these banded cable lugs here coming out of here and going in 90 degree like this and then connecting to the positive bus bar over there, right? Because the, um, the um, so I can move this cable lug only to a certain degree here until it hits this middle section wall here, this isolating wall. And this is basically the maximum I can bend it. And if you look, I need to, I need to force the cable down so actually the lid fits still on the uh, shelf here later on. So we get a sharp bend here when the where the cable actually exits the cable lug. It is not ideal. It is okay. There's there's nothing wrong with that. It is totally okay, but it is not. I yeah. I would like to have one of these elbow bended cable lugs for this one situation here. And I have also I have also ordered some of these um, backwards bended cable lugs. Are they backward or forward? Depends from where you look, right? For the other breakers, because I'm in a similar situation. But these ones will only be a 35 millimeter cable, so they are far easier to bend. See, this is the 35 millimeter cable, and it, that's that's fairly easy to bend here in a, in a small radius. Yep, yeah, no problem. No problem at all. So it would be possible without just normal cable lugs and then bend them over to the bus bars here. Well, with these banded lugs, I don't need to worry about which way the cable actually goes because then it goes directly into the battery compartment, connects to the BMS and battery straight away. So I have ordered 10 of them, $26 or something, uh, just to have a look at it and see if this would be an, a nicer and a cleaner solution for that. But, um, well, we will see. I'll show you when they are there. I cannot get this banded left band elbow. It's actually a right band. Yeah, it goes to the right. A right banded elbow cable lug 70 millimeters anywhere else here in Australia. I've seen them um, on other companies like the Mag Magna Lug in the US, but this is all uh, gauge wire stuff and this doesn't fit my 70 square millimeter cable at all here. So this is not a possibility. Yeah, anyway, I have then continued with the um, switchboard situation. The countersunk screws have arrived as well. Um, so the switchboard will have to go somewhere like this, but it needs to come further forward. Um, eventually we will have the aluminium plate here, the aluminium cover sitting across this section here. So it goes halfway this beam and up to the top here of the shelf. But it sits flush with this beam section here. So this one needs to come further this way. 
otherwise I cannot fit the lid on it anymore. But it cannot come further because of the beam. See, we've got this, um, this U-shaped beam here. So here you can see how the profile is shaped. See, I just need to cut, cut in here and the plastic a little bit so this one moves further this way. That's all we need to do. All these breakers, they are just connected with 35 millimeters incoming and outgoing for the uh, inverters. Well, and this brings me to the next topic, how to connect these um, breakers with these um, 35 millimeter cable. I've got these huge ferrules here, 35 millimeters. Um, you know, they fit into the breaker just especially after crimping because the crimper the crimper makes the um the round ferrule square and then it fits perfectly into the square hole of the terminal and i can i can already force them in they bend a little bit but see they are they are far too long so uh, what i've done is i have uh, oh shit oh shit no it's stuck huh all right here we go yeah i've i've cut one off and you can see actually the copper here inside. These are actually copper ferrules, tinned copper ferrules, very thin copper. But they fit into the breakers here just fine. And then we've got the cable here connected inside the ferrule. And then the cable bends down and goes through a hole back to our bus bar situation here or at the second level it goes out this way to the load and the solar charge controllers and here again i looked online what is available and i couldn't find any better solution than these ferrules at the moment see these are the normal cable like and obviously this flat area here does not fit into a circuit breaker now if you look online there are circuit breaker lugs available where this flat part here is far slimmer and some of them don't even have a hole anymore and it's just formed like a thick pin and it would be ideal to feed into these holes or these terminals of the breakers but they are not coming as 90 degree banded cable lugs they're only straight and I cannot use straight cable lugs in here. And you can see from the from the length, they are far too long to bend the cable actually down then so it can go out of the switchboard here. So everything I need doesn't exist. And I'm not sure if I can bend them in the vise or something without breaking them or you know, or causing any material fatigue or something because you bend them. They should be fabricated like this. I'm not a big fan of bending these cable lugs into any direction here. You're creating micro cracks in the material and it's just not good in a long-term perspective. So this is the best solution I came up with because they are fairly short, close to the circuit breaker. And this gives us here almost three fingers wide space okay 40 millimeter space coming from the circuit breaker and then in a nice bend going down through here so that's the best solution so i'm not starting to build anything because i just want to get your feedback because as i said i'm reading good comments there i'm getting good feedback good ideas and maybe some of you, like PowerPoll yesterday, has seen something which would actually fit. I cannot find any uh, bended or elbow or angled ferrules. They are all straight. So this doesn't exist, obviously. So an ideal would be one of these circuit breaker lugs with a square pin at this side, which fits into a circuit breaker, and this part here angled backwards this way that would be ideal see i've got all my aluminium sheets sitting here i just need to find the right one for this top section there and i need to drill some holes so yeah that's the plan so there will be one switchboard here and another one here one is for the load one is for the solar charge controllers and they both connect 
to the bus bar here. See, and there's still enough room to back angle out of this terminal here and come in a little bend and then connect to the positive and the other one connects to the negative here. There would be still enough room. So yeah, but I need to wait until they register, they approve my application there to get access to the online store. As if they've got something to hide, right? Well, we are not dealing with any customer. You need to register and we need to manually approve your application of access to the shop. And some of these cable lugs, they are really expensive, especially these elbow ones I have seen online. They are like $180 for 25 of them. So that's a lot of money. But yeah, as I said, I need only one. Okay, I guess so far this quick video update from tonight. I just want to get your feedback on how to connect these cables here and what you think about the idea of having these cables bending backwards here with these um, banded cable lugs and connecting to the bus bars then in this area here. Instead of having to... Um, instead of having these cables dipping down first and then coming up again like they are right now. And just you, you're trying you're trying to build this as clean as possible and as and as maintenance friendly as well. Because later down the track, once the front cover is mounted and everything, we only have access to this compartment from the top. I can take off the, the top aluminium cover basically then and then we've got access from the top here. And yes, some of you have mentioned this as well in the comments. We will have barriers around these bus bars here. They are not staying exposed as they are right now here. There will be acrylic banded profiles, whatever covers we have. Um, I can show you some of the covers I have. I got them. I can't hardly see this. It's like a U-shape. This this will go here around our bus bar, so they are not exposed inside the cabinet here. And I have to I have to drill, I have to make some cutouts here with the jigsaw and everything. And and I just hope it doesn't break like it did while I was drilling into the plastic here. And there will be another barrier here as well, probably up to the top here, uh, just to separate our 12 volt area here, which is connected to one of the circuit breakers from the uh, 48 volt bus bar here so we don't want to have any interaction here at all all right I, got, I know this is a lot of theory but sometimes you need to think about stuff again and again and again and again and you need to ask some friends as well for advice but then after posting this video tomorrow morning at 5 a.m our time here um you've got about four hours probably until i start working here so everyone who is very quick with responding, replying, commenting on these videos may have a good chance that I say, oh, well, this is a good tip. This is very good. And I want to change my design to implement your suggestion. All right, guys, so far this quick update tonight. Thank you again for all your comments here, for all your support here on the channel, for all the t-shirts you have bought so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm keen to see the first person here running around and say, hey, this is my t-shirt. <laughs> You're wearing my t-shirt, my design. <laughs> well, if I see someone somewhere, you will be invited for a spat. Of course you will be. Okay, guys, I better do some more research about cable lux and post this video here. Until tomorrow morning, have a good night's sleep. Talk to you then. And uh, of course, um, stay charged and stay safe. Absolutely. Highest priority. I mean, the safety, not the charging. <laughs> right, see you tomorrow morning.